with a word which means a stroke in which the cue ball strikes two balls successively. Shout out to the Wordle bot. Here's Karom. Karom? Karim? Hmm. Not sure how to pronounce it. Here we go. Weird little starter there, just for fun. We've got two letters already. I need an E and an S next, perhaps. Those are quite common. E and an S. Mm hmm. Stare. That's probably where the A and the R are. Let's try it. Well, that could be an H for shark. That's one option, SH. It could be SP for spark. Shark or spark, but I like that it ends in a K. It could be shard. Shark, shard, spark. Not swarm, no M. No SL here. So P or H is, is what's, what's speaking to me here. We had shark, spark. Not swarm, no M. is nice at the end. It's not scary. Shark or spark? I'm vibing on like shark week. Let's do it. Or it could be shard. Well, D is far more common than K. Sorry, shark. I did like shark. Oh no. Sharp. Let me just vomit all over this wordle. I still like shark. Shard is more common. Um, that was frustrating. <laughs> My analysis, yeah. Karom was cool, but not so cool. Not a cool starter. Um, I, I think Slate really cleaned up on this one. Stare. Oh, seven words left. Two words left. One word left. And then we got it. Hmm. And it just so happens that P is more frequent it's 50% more frequent than K. So I should have done sharp first. But shard, sharp, then shark would have been appropriate. Ah, uh, the bot. Ah, uh, the bot, you kind of struggle too, compared to the humans. Slate, spank, swamp, sharp. Hmm. Interesting. Sharp has more common letters than swamp. Silly bot, but the bot certainly knows more than me. Some days you get it in five, when maybe you could have gotten it in three. And that's okay. Have a beautiful day. We're delicious.